what is up guys this is mayu and you're watching forging websites today in this video you'll learn html basis or the html fundamentals for complete beginners if you are completely new to this html field then stay tuned this video is completely for you So what exactly is HTML? We have talked a little bit over the HTML in our previous videos, but today in this video, we'll go deeper and dive into the HTML. We'll understand what HTML is and then slowly and gradually we'll learn how to write the HTML code. So HTML stands for hypertext markup language. It describes the structure of the web page. The HTML elements tell the browser what content is to be rendered. The HTML elements are represented by tags. These HTML tags just labels this piece of content on the page. The browser do not display the tags but it uses to display or render the content on the web page. So in short, HTML is a file extension with .html. It is hypertext markup language. It describes the structure of the page. HTML file includes of HTML elements which are further known as tags which are used to label the piece of content as a heading paragraph or some order list or on order list and we got to know that browser do not print the text but it uses the text to define the content on the web page so let's jump right into the computer and watch what html file looks like so welcome to the computer screen we'll start with uh, the basic html how it looks so in this one let's make it full screen in this one the first one is doc type doc type which defines that this file or this document is declared as an html file then comes the html tag itself the html file itself starts from the html and ends with html then comes the head tag or you can say you cannot exactly say header but you can say the head tag this one is used to transfer many metadata to the browser which can be used by the browser or by the search engine to understand about the web page so in this header tag we have two meta description one is title and one is meta char set the char set defines the character used in the web page if you are using a utf 8 encoding then it makes sure that you are able to pass every language which is spoken by human on the web page this title defines what will be displayed on the tab of your browser or on the bookmark when you will be doing to a browser let me tell you that html is not a case sensitive language it's okay if you write t here capital or the whole title is capital it doesn't matter it's not case sensitive so the editor which i am using here is sublime text you can download it by using the link down in the description when you click on the link in the download description you will be redirected to this page in this page you can download whatever version you like according to your operating system also you can use visual studio code which can also be downloaded from here if the link is also given in the description here you can click for the website will automatically recognize your operating system if it doesn't you can also click down the description and also download from here for some of the starting tutorials we'll be using sublime text and then i myself will be shifting to visual studio code so let's jump back to our file so as i suggest html is consist of series of html elements here this all things which are wrapped into the brackets are elements this one is the starting this one is ending this one is starting this one is ending this one is starting this one is ending so as i told you earlier that html file consists of html elements so this all are html elements or you can say html tags this html tag defines the starting of the html document this html closing tag defines the closing of html tag Oh, HTML file. I'm sorry. The forward slash shows the closing tag. The tag without the forward slash shows the opening tag. 
it's always good practice to use the opening tag and closing tag do not only use the opening tags because it will mess with your file and it cannot be properly rendered so as i said the description in the head data will never be displayed to the browser or on the web page so let us we try by writing something over here and i'll save the thing and i'll go to the my desktop let me open the file i'll open it with google chrome so here you see we are having two tabs here so the document which we provided in the uh, meta description with the title tag is shown here then the thing which we write in the body section is displaying over here but you can see nothing is displayed from the head tag on the body if i am changing here to something else eh? and again i'm saving the file i'm going and hitting a refresh over here now you see forging websites tutorial you can see it on the top if i go again and change some add something here like uh, again something like lorem i'll save that thing i'll again go here i refresh and you can see it here because this thing is not wrapped in any element so without element the browser understand it's just a plain text so it just tries to print it over here anything which is in the head section you can say it like a, a address for envelope this upper side of the envelope is just for the information where to post who have sent the message or who want to be received from using that the postman can help both of the communicators to communicate with each other same here the header tag the header tag only has the information which is required for the browser for the search engine to the identification of the web page so i am using meta tag just that we have already used so we will use here meta tag with the name attribute which can be author and its content would be my name so in this way you can add the meta description to the web page to identify its author so again if i save this thing and go back to browser and i refresh you can see that as i omitted the first line the line is gone and now there is nothing showing here because that is a complete meta description so from that the google can fetch the data from the html file and it can know that uh, the author of this web page is mayur chandpur also the head tag is used for attachment creation like if you want to add a, a link you can say you want to link a style sheet which we'll be learning in the next course for specific for the css but let's now just understand that there is a file which is called css which has the style sheet for this web page consider you want to change the heading color to yellow to green okay but you want to do it for the whole website not just single page so what you will do you will do to uh, you will go to every page and change that thing no so for their convenience there is another file or attachment which we talked earlier in our previous videos that css just helps styling the whole website uniformly so if you want to so if you want to attach that css file to this web page we can do that thing by this link attribute so this href this type this rel is an attribute to link tag this gives an extra information to the browser about the tag in href we can define any location where the style where the style.css file would be and it will fetch that file and bring it to here the initial dot and forward slash shows that file is in the current directory in which the present file is there let's save and again we'll check and uh, hit a refresh and we see there is no change in the web page because it is defining just the meta information one also way to attach something is that javascript as we talked earlier in the previous video that javascript does the work of giving movement to the web page or it brings 
life or it gives the ability to interact with the web page so you can use the head tag for including the different different scripts but here specifically we will talk about javascripts here as you see that uh, it has an attribute of type so which type of scripts will be importing here we are also adding one more attribute called src or source here also we will type the file name dot js to show that it is a javascript file and the again the dot and single forward slash conveys that it is in the current directory in which this index.html file lives if i do double dot slash it means that it has to go one folder back and then search for the script file but here i'll let it to be dot slash to show that it is in the same directory here i am including the javascript in the head tag but i suggest adding every javascript at the bottom after the body tag because it will affect this page load speed and we'll talk that way long back in our course i'm just letting you know that head tag can also include scripts which are primarily required to run the web page if the script is very important before loading the content it is required then it should go in the head tag one more thing we missed here means html language en which i just gone over shows that this html web page will including an en english version of language so we got to understand what is head head is the package of information goes with the web page to the browser or to the search engine so from that the browser or the search engine can understand what is there or what is the web page all about next comes the body tag what is the body tag as in the writing the first on the envelope is the head tag then whatever inside is there is called the body or the whole letter or the whole content is called the body so anything which will be writing in the body will displayed on the web page like here if you write anything more and again hitting enter like this okay and i'm saving it and i'm again going here and hitting the reload button you can see it here so this body tag is shown in the web page and ultimately the html closing tag is here it means that the whole html file is completed and the rendering stops as we talked earlier that html is a structural language but here as we saw earlier that i'm writing something here again and again again and again in a new line but still but still it's showing in a single line why if html is a structural language then why everything is there because as we talked earlier html is series of html elements or html tags which have to use to make the browser understand how the page should render so here we have to define or we have to tell the file that you tell browser that this thing is a heading this thing is not a heading this thing is an order list this thing is an unordered list so how we will do like do that thing we will do that thing using the tags which are available in the html language also make a point over here this is the latest version of the html code so we are always talking about html5 syntaxes so we can get profit from that thing html4 or html5 is not quite that different is the different thing is that they are adding more functionality to the html5 day by day every day so here current version is of html5 so if you are here learning html5 is okay we are doing the same thing and it will be same if we will launching html6 there will be different functionality added to it something would be removed but if you will be reading the documentation of that thing you will be always ready for the new version of any html so why we require structuring if you are writing a piece of content over here like a soup recipe okay i'm writing a soup recipe here i want to share it with the audience i am also writing one tablespoon of uh, sugar three tomatoes eh? like this i'm writing whole recipe and i want to share it with someone and i'm saving that thing i'm sharing my file and what the people is looking at is a boring text file 
you want it it's not even uh, managed to structure properly or even there is a no new line eh? so what is the main emphasization of that thing is to bring out the main good meaning behind the web page is to structure it properly so we'll structure it there's the soup recipe you know that it's a heading and it's the most important heading in this whole page so i'll give it h1 tag h1 is a heading tag with the top priority one it is the most important heading in the whole page h tags starts from h1 and it finishes to h2 the heading tags are of six different sizes and this is a paragraph tag so we'll use a p tag to define that it is a paragraph this one is another paragraph but it is not breaking it's just changing the line so we are using br tag it's just a line break this br tag is an example of self closing tags every tag has a starting tag and a closing tag but only few special one has only one tag which are called self closing tags like this line break line break doesn't require anything more specific so if you are writing that it's enough it will show there and it will break the line and go to the new line this one i should say it's an unordered list is okay 1 2 3 4 is not required i'll write it unordered list ul okay all the list items will go inside with l i l i l i going in the end writing l i now if i save and go back to the page and i hit refresh now you see that this is a much more improved and enhanced view than we were having before now people watching this page can easily understand that this web page is all about soup recipe and is from forging websites tutorial here as speaking of forging websites tutorial in the title tag i would like to uh, take your attention to one more thing what out what i talked earlier is if i hit this bookmark tab you can see here the name forging website tutorial is also pops over here on the bookmark so writing the title tag is used in different different places so like this it's used in also used in bookmarks let me remove that bookmark now this web page looks way different than it was earlier now it's a little bit lovely here i change the paragraph you can see the distance between the heading and the paragraph here again we change the paragraph and then we use the break line over here it was not changing the whole paragraph but it was just breaking the line and it was trying to make it in order so here was the break line here was break line here the paragraph again got finished and we are again here left with an ordered list what if i want a ordered list simply going here back to our file replacing ul with ol we are making an ordered list again save and hit refresh over here you can see an ordered list what is the first thing what is the second thing what is the third thing talking for the list i also remind that i forgot to tell you one more thing what are nested html tags so the tags which are inside of one of the tag we can say them they are nested the whole head tag consists of meta tag title tag one more meta tag link tag and script tag so these all tags are nested to the head tag whole html file is nested to this html tag again whatever is visible to the web page is in the body tag so every other tags are nested to body tags so nesting can be also helpful in one more thing if you remember if i am having a, a list like this and i'm also want to add one more thing 
two more things sorry two more things in this first line or first list i have to use nested list so here i am going into the unordered list i am going at the first list making a space there and adding a unordered list over here with the list item 1 1 2 2 and then in another list i am going for 3 2 4 and again saving the page and going back and hitting refresh will show you 1 2 2 3 2 4 so this is also called the nested list and you also understand the nested tags i know i'm throwing too much of information to you people but be steady be calm watch the video slowly if it require go rewind watch again and if you want to do you can also do together in your computer in your new tab or in your new editor i guess sublime text or vs code whichever you like so doing together will give you confidence about what you are doing what you are learning and in this way you learn little bit fast just hearing to my voice or, he or just watching my computer screen will make you confused in uh, many different ways so try to do it together so speaking of confidence i would like to tell you one more thing don't worry don't hesitate you don't have to remember all the codes like p h1 h2 h6 body html is okay if you don't remember that thing but it will be much more helpful and progressive and will be making your workflow very faster if you remember a few things and automatically using it day by day again and again you will get used to few codes and you will just write it straight down even not knowingly here i'll be posting two links in the description for you people which are from w3 school and also mdn they are the references for the all the tags used in html let me show you those two sites back to screen so these are both the lists which are posted down in the description this one is mdn this is the main root html as i said you earlier it shows you the element it describes about it if you click on that thing it will give you deeper knowledge on that particular field it gives a small nice introduction that it is a root element it is the primary element it's the html file starts with html on uh, the permitted content what should be included what should not be included the attributes which can be used inside it's okay it's not uh, really required that you know it right now it also explains the example it gives you specific more deeper in in which it is compatible in which browser and gives you much more detailed information about the single tag going back and going about document metadata which i told you earlier the head tag the link tag and the uh, title tag and the script tag we talked earlier you can see all them here clicking one by one you can see what kind of uh, work it does what is defining what it should be written by how it should be written is it a self-closing tag or not or the closing tag is required in which browse it is supporting like that many information you can get over here so take it easy is okay if you don't remember it thing but doing with me will also help you remember a few small basic tags which are normally required in every day to day life also the second link which i have given in the description goes to w3 schools this is in little friendly formatting you can also format it by alphabetically or category whichever wise you like so this is defining a comment and we will i'll show you that thing now i'll tell you many things we are going deeper inside the doc type which we already studied a gives you a hyperlink like that there are many more many more many more so don't worry just bookmark these both sites and visit it whenever you require so this was our soup recipe now getting back and i want to tell you or show you the comment over here so what comment is let me really tell you so as you know this is a soup recipe which is the heading or the most important thing in the whole web page means every whole the whole web page is talking on the soup recipe 
so if i am passing this thing to someone if another human is trying to understand this thing how he would come to know that this is a title so by putting a comment we are giving him that uh, this is a title or uh, the most important thing closing tag for comment is this double dashes and one right arrow so now you see that this is a title or most important thing is in gray color or is in different color it is written there so any human can see there and yes okay this is a title okay is okay then what is this h2 i don't know then let them define again this is a second cat boy heading okay so now the uh, human which is in front of your code will try to understand and he will see that okay yes this is a second category heading so this small small comments will help also you to make remember what this code was for or finding if you are finding some different codes in very long long pages of many different different files you will be in future working with many more people many more files so in that scenario this comments will be very helpful to you people so understanding comments is also a great thing so now you might be wondering writing comments in this section won't this be print out in there no as you'll write any comment over here and save it and let me refresh that thing and you can see now only soup recipe which i changed capital s capital i is changed nothing else is showing up here so comments are not visible the meta tags are not visible the body and different the other tags which will be learning further in the different videos will be just displayed so in this way comments helps you out so this is what a basic and fundamental of html is which could be understood by any beginner so this was a too much knowledge sharing video if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe and if you have any questions please go ahead and comment in the comment section i'll be up with the new video explaining you different different elements of the html or the text you can say we'll be learning more together soon so catch you in the next video